What's up, Android fans? This is TechNeg9 from ultimatedroid.blogspot.com. Today with me with the Galaxy Nexus and how to install Codename Android, which is one of my favorite, all-time favorite ROMs for Galaxy Nexus. So I'd wait down the links from the description below. I will have a link for GSM, Verizon, and Sprint. So to support every type of Galaxy Nexus, so it's a big thumbs up right there for the developer of this ROM. So right away, just download that and also download G-Apps. Once you get that download, we're going to be transferring some, some files back and forth from a computer and phone. So just plug in your phone via micro USB and the other side to the, US, the USB port. And let's head over to the computer. Alright, as you can see right there, you have GSM codename, you have Ryzen and Sprint for codename, and you also have G-Apps. So just connect your phone like I said earlier and transfer the GSM if you have GSM or Verizon if you have Verizon Galaxy Nexus and Sprint if you have a Galaxy Nexus and everyone should transfer G apps to get all your Google apps like Google Play Store, Gmail, Google Talk, all those good stuff. So everybody should transfer that and transfer one of those onto your phone. Once you get that transfer onto your phone, just unplug it and we're going to be the rest of the process on our phone. And if you're using a Mac, use Android File Transfer. I'll, I will also have that in the description below to the program. So just unplug it and we're doing the rest of the process on our phone. Also, you must have Clockroom router recovery already installed on your phone. So if you don't have it installed, you can look right there for Windows and for Mac. And if you see my full review on this, all the all the features it includes, you can look right there as well. So we transfer the zip files to GApps and the code name Android. And we have Clockroom router recovery installed on our device. So we're now we're gonna power off our phone and enter into recovery mode. Okay, it's turned off. Now hold the volume up, volume, volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. Just keep holding until you feel vibration. Okay? You should see this start screen now, and then go up twice, and you should recovery mode and select power to select it. Alright, now you'll be on this screen. Let me give you a better angle on that. And right away, we're going to go to install zip. Or first, we're going to do wipe data slash factory reset. So, this will delete all your data. So, if you haven't backed up your data, make sure you reboot your phone, go back and reboot your phone, and back up all your data onto your computer. So, just select the yes. And you can see the process at the bottom. Okay, that's done. Then we're going to, we're going to go to wipe cache partition. And all the way down to select yes. So this will clear all your temporary files and help you f help make it very very less likely from uh, soft breaking your phone. Now go into advanced and wipe down the cache. That's done. Now we're gonna go back. Install the FMSD card. Choose the FMSD card. And the first file that we're gonna be trans in, um, installing is that code name Android, as you can see right there. So codename Android, so install that and you're gonna choose yes. So this will take a few minutes, so please be patient. Okay, well once that is done, we're gonna go back or we're gonna choose it from SD card, the very first one, and we're gonna find the G apps. So mine's actually gonna be in downloads folder. So you're gonna find that G apps one. As you can see right there, I got G apps right there. And you're gonna select yes. So once again, I told, like I told you earlier, this will install all your Google Talk, Google Play Store, all your Gmail and all that. So it's a must have anyone needs it to install actual apps on their phone. Alright, that is complete. Now we're just going to go back and reboot the phone. So go back. And first one, reboot system now. And since you are installing a new custom ROM for the very first time, the reboot for the only first time will take a little bit of time, so please be patient. So I'll give it a few seconds to the blood boot up. As you can see, it's the stock uh, Jelly Bean Nexus boot up sign. Boot up logo. Okay, now it's under the start menu. Let me just skip through all this. All right, now let me just go into settings and show you it's on code name Android. This is probably one, if not, it's my probably my favorite uh, RAM or the very top ROM. It's a really good ROM, I think. 
So you can see right there, code name Android 3.3.0. You can see August 15th, you can see the kernel and everything. You can see it's on Codename Android. So that is how you install Codename Android on your device. And if you're wondering, should I install it, should I not? Look at the full review in there for quad and scores. Um, what I think all the a ton of customization for this phone. So I would highly recommend anyone get it. This is probably one of my favorite uh, Android devices or Android ROMs for my Galaxy Nexus. So this is a great ROM, very stable. I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to check out that full review if you're wondering if I should install it or not. See you in the next video. And also, if you want to support me, don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me to your circles on Google+. Plus. Those are also great, way, great places to contact me for any Android support for any Android device. See you in the next video. All links are in the description below. See ya.